Hello everyone and welcome to another video on JavaScript programming. Hope you guys are doing well. My name is Kaushal and today we will discuss about why to learn JavaScript. I will take you through few reasons why one should learn JavaScript. By the end of this tutorial, you will understand the need to learn JavaScript. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let's start this video with some facts about JavaScript. JavaScript is the only programming language that a browser can understand. 25 years ago, when developers were thinking about a language that a browser can understand, there were a few languages that were present in the market at that time, just like Java. Still, there were some problems with these languages. That these languages need a server to work with the browser. JavaScript, on the other hand, can work directly with the browser. You write the code in the editor, the browser will go through it, it will interpret it and then runs the program. The popularity of JavaScript increased with time. Being a language which can do so many tasks, whether it be designing a website's front-end or going through any website's back-end, JavaScript can do anything. By the end of 2018, over 95% of the internet was powered by JavaScript. Means, almost every website out there is using JavaScript in some way or another. Do you guys know about Stack Overflow, a website for every programmer? Don't worry, you'll get to know about it once you start with the programming part. Stack Overflow states that JavaScript is the most popular programming language used by the developers. Let me quickly run you through the reasons why one should learn JavaScript and then we'll briefly elaborate each of these reasons. JavaScript has the most powerful frameworks. JavaScript is constantly growing and is a well-paid job. JavaScript is beginner friendly and it has the largest community. JavaScript provides wide range of usage as well. Let's move on further and see why each of these reasons is important. JavaScript has the most powerful frameworks for every task a user wants to do. Like for designing a single page website, like you want to design a website like Gmail. You can use angular.js. If you want to design UI components or user interfaces for single page application, you have react.js. You want to develop a mobile or a desktop application, let's suppose. You have view.js for that as well. Basically, you can do anything with powerful JavaScript frameworks. Next up is constant growth. One of the main reasons behind one should learn JavaScript. JavaScript is one of the fastest growing languages and stands among the top 10 languages used by the developers. With so much increase in mobile market, mobile web development has seen an immense rise in need of interactivity, which is possible only with the help of JavaScript. That's why JavaScript is continuously growing and there is no way that JavaScript will go down shortly. The developers working in JavaScript are well paid across the world. Anyone who wants to be a web designer or a web developer needs to learn JavaScript. It is a must have skill for being a good web developer. We will discuss it in JavaScript jobs section. JavaScript is an easy to learn language compared to many other programming languages like Java, Python and PHP. JavaScript provides easy entry points to the world of programming. The best thing about JavaScript is that it comes pre-installed on almost every web browser. So you don't need to set up any environment to start development in JavaScript, which means you can start coding right away. JavaScript has the largest community among all the programming languages out there. Community size does matter when it comes to programming language because the larger the community size is, the more help you would be likely to get. Currently, JavaScript has the biggest Stack Overflow community. It has overtaken Java in terms of community size and is still growing at a rapid pace. Wide range of usage. In my opinion, one of the most important reasons why one should learn JavaScript. By knowing JavaScript, you can build an entire website from its backend to the frontend. Apart from that, you can also build a full-fledged mobile application. For the backend, you don't need to learn other programming languages. Node.js is enough with a bit of knowledge about database and APIs. There is nothing you can't do with JavaScript when it comes to website development. Let's move on and discuss few jobs you can take up after learning JavaScript and we'll also discuss their average salaries in USA and in India. So the first one is a full stack developer. A full stack developer is one of the highest paid jobs in web development sector. A full stack developer is equally proficient in client side as well as server-side development. 
A full stack developer earns around 9 lakh per annum, which is quite a decent amount of money for a person living in India. But if you are a full stack developer in US, you can earn up to $100,000 per annum, which is a huge amount. A front end developer is the one who deals with the front end of any website or application. It's obvious that a front end developer will not earn as much as a full stack developer. But the amount of money a front end developer earns in a year is decent. A JavaScript developer works on the front end and sometimes back end also. A JavaScript developer may be responsible for the whole website or just a few aspects or pages of different websites. They earn quite well when it comes to salary. A JS developer in US earns around $75,000 per annum, which when converted to Indian rupees sums around 55 lakhs approx, which is a huge amount. Designing a UI is an interesting job as it needs creativity along with skills. It's always fun to design interfaces to attract users. One should need a lot of creativity for this job. The amount of money a UI UX designer earns in India is around 7 lakh per annum. But it can go up as much as 20 lakh per annum depends upon the skills possessed and creativity of the designer. So choose your career wisely. That's all for this video. See you in the next one where I'll give you an introduction to what is document object model. If this video helped you anyhow, do like it, comment your doubts, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe Simply Code. Thank you.